A new lineup of NVIDIA graphics cards and their specs were leaked online, which means NVIDIA could be gearing up for an RTX 30 series refresh in the near future. Let's discuss that in this video. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys, Danny here, welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. For this video, we'll be discussing the recent leaks surrounding some new upcoming GPUs from Nvidia, and I'll be giving you guys my thoughts on it, what I think about it, whether it makes sense, and if you'll even be able to buy one. On Twitter, copite 7 kimi who's a very well-known hardware leaker and has a good track record for Nvidia leaks, posted some models along with their specs. These are going to be super variants of the RTX 30 series, and they're going to be bringing with them some minor upgrades over the original lineup. We don't have too much info on Nvidia's next gen at a Lovelace or RTX 40 series GPUs, but according to some of the rumors that are going around, they're slated for a Q4 2022 launch. So in the meantime, as a stopgap solution, Nvidia is looking at refreshing the current lineup of RTX 30 series GPUs as these super variants. At the top, we've got the 3090 Super, which I had already covered in a previous video and wasn't really too thrilled about. It'll have more CUDA cores than the vanilla 3090, slightly better VRAM, and that's really about it. In fact, those are the same kinds of changes you'll see for the rest of the SKUs. I don't really see it being noticeably faster, and I'm sure given the current circumstances, it will come with a hefty price tag. Moving down the list, and we've got an RTX 3080 Super. Now what makes this an interesting situation is that since we already have TI variants, for most of these GPUs, Many people were wondering if these super variants will be faster or slower, but instead we're left in this really weird situation where it's both. The 3080 Super will have 8,960 CUDA cores, which is about 3% more than the 3080, but is much lower than the 3080 Ti, meaning it will slot in between those two GPUs, and it will come with 12GB of VRAM. Nvidia's top end is so redundantly saturated now, it's not even funny man. Before we had the 3090 and 3080, which were already very close to begin with. Then we had the 3080 Ti, which was in between the narrow gap. Then on top of that, we're adding on a 3080 Super. All of these GPUs will end up with performance figures so close to each other. If the 3080 Super ends up at the same MSRP as the original 3080, considering it's a refresh, then whatever, I'm not complaining. But given the current circumstances, I could see them raising its price to $799 or even $899 because they'll want to take full advantage of the situation where almost anything is selling at this point at whatever price. Now moving on, this bizarre situation just becomes even more weird with the 3070 Super. This GPU will pretty much have the same exact specs as the vanilla 3070, same CUDA cores, same amount of VRAM, except it will come with faster GDDR6X memory. To me, this is an absolutely pointless GPU. We saw how little the 3070 Ti improved performance over the 3070, and so the 3070 Super will be barely faster than the 3070. It's not even worth mentioning at this point. This card really only should be 499 and nothing more. Now the 3060 Super to me is the most interesting, and will be the most desirable GPU out of the bunch, because unlike the 3080 Super, this GPU will be faster than the X60 Ti variant, since the 3060 Ti only has 4,864 CUDA cores, this super variant will have a whopping 5,632 CUDA cores, placing it very close to the 3070 and 3070 Super and it will have even more VRAM than those two GPUs. Based on the specs that we've seen and the performance data that's available from existing SKUs, it's actually quite easy to roughly gauge this GPU's performance. I'm pretty sure this 3060 Super will end up performing nearly identically to the 3070 in the vast majority of titles out there, and perhaps it might even do somewhat better in some cases at 4K due to the larger memory buffer. If Nvidia comes out with the 3060 Super, refresh, and prices it at the same price as the 3060 Ti, or even for like $30 more, then I think this will be an excellent bang for the buck GPU, given the current market landscape. I reviewed the 3060 Ti when it came out, and I was impressed by its performance as it was able to match the previous gen RTX 2080 Super, or even exceed it in many games. So for 1080p and 1440p gaming, it'll be an excellent gaming GPU. Apart from that, this is really the only bit of info that we have to go on, and as with every rumor, and leak, take it with a grain of salt. Nothing official has been confirmed, but Copite does have a pretty good track record when it comes to these kinds of leaks, so I'm not doubtful that this list could be true. 
Uh, I could totally see NVIDIA refreshing the lineup in late 2021 or early 2022 at CES. A lot of you might be asking why is NVIDIA even bothering with such a redundant series? Well, I can think of some reasons as to why they'll be wanting to do this. To start off, this kind of behavior isn't anything new for NVIDIA. They've been releasing these kinds of SKUs and saturating the market with previous generations, and they're already doing this with the current generation, i.e. 3070 Ti, 3080 Ti. Now, if they're going to be releasing the Super Series of cards alongside current SKUs, meaning they're not going to cease production of the 3080 or 3070, then that's actually great news for gamers as this will create more supply to meet the insane level of demand the market is experiencing. Along with that, unlike AMD who has to rely on TSMC to manufacture the chips and are competing with other companies like Apple and Qualcomm, Nvidia is actually able to ship a lot more volume due to solely relying on Samsung's 8 nanometers. Even if AMD had somehow managed to beat them on performance or features, Nvidia can easily just ship out more volume to make up for that loss. On the other hand, if Nvidia decided that now we're just going to be focusing on the refresh series because we can price them higher and therefore increase our profit margin, then that could be problematic for gamers as it will result in higher prices. Though with how extremely overpriced everything is right now, I doubt it would even make a difference, but it won't help the situation either way if the original SKUs are end of life and the new super series is what they're going to be focusing on primarily. Another reason why I believe Nvidia wants to reintroduce some super models to the market is because they're probably a bit concerned with what Intel is going to be doing in the market. Recently I made a video where we go over some of the info that pertains to Intel's top SKU competing against the RTX 3070. It could be that Nvidia just wants to reaffirm their market position and show their dominance by saying hey that's cool and all but we've got this brand new super series of GPUs and you should buy our GPUs instead. You guys already know our performance and this super series is just a lot better so buy this instead. And hey, I guess as consumers, we can be kind of glad that this is happening due to competition. Competition is great for everyone in the market. It will be very interesting to see how this plays out next year and how the market changes with a third player. If you were to ask my honest opinion though, I've never really been a fan of TI or Super Variants. I wish we could just go back to the old days where we just had an X80 class card and an X70 class card and so on. All these SKUs just saturate the market and make it confusing for everyone. If this lineup is true, I'd love to get my hands on an RTX 3060 Super, but we'll see what happens. I hope you guys found this video to be informative and helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out the video description on ways to support the channel and for my other videos. If you guys are interested in more content like this, then make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.